Hello, supers! This week here on Paano Bato, we are talking about finding meaning and a way forward even in the darkest of times. Bakit ito nangyari and what can I do? Minsan, ang hirap, pero kailangan pag-usapan. I'm speaking with award-winning broadcast journalist, news anchor, and now author Bernadette Sembrano Aguinaldo in this episode. Very relevant to everyone listening to Paano Bato, finding meaning. I mean, that is like such a powerful driving force kasi parang feeling ko whenever, again, we go through something in life, finding meaning is always that driver. It's always that parang it keeps you going. So can you share with us what finding meaning means to para, you? I guess para kung tubig talaga, girl, na parang if hindi pwedeng diretso, I'll find... I think I'm more that. Yung parang makakahanap ng ibang. Kung hindi pwede to, hanap ako tuloy lang. Gets mo? Yung water, di ba ganon? Yung kung hindi pwede to, pupunta siya sa, kung saan may butas na pwedeng pagsingitan. As long as you know that you did everything that you could. This is what I noticed, Bianca. I've been to different places in the country. Yung mga lugar na mas nagdadasal, mas nakaka-cope easier and with much lightness. I'll just say it's Bohol, not to compare it with other areas. May kanya-kanyang strength bawat areas na napuntahan ko. But in Bohol, it's their faith. Na nagpunta ako doon, parang dahil madasalin sila doon, na parang feeling nila nag yung mga churches nila because they're being called to go back to church. Na nagdadasal sila. It was a calamity area, but may hope pa. Alam mo yon, So, para it was really hard to explain. Same with people na may sakit tapos nagdadasal. Kapag may Diyos ang tao, mas nakakakup na alam na may plano sa'yo ang Diyos. And alam ko rin sa mga Western books, plus sinasabi nila anybody with that spiritual anchor, mas nakakakup din talaga than doon sa mga walang Diyos. So, that's my witnessing naman. That's why this book happened. Kasi, ang common theme naman sa lahat ng mga taong in a bad place, kapag may Diyos sila, parang nagkakaroon ng dahilan to keep on going. Parang mas may context. That light, that hope. Yeah, yeah you, say, you share many stories in this book na parang ganun nga. And I actually don't know if you're aware, pero si Finding Meaning, nalaman ko lang din to sa pandemic because I was listening to the podcast of Brene Brown. So merong tinatawag na five stages of grief, right? Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance, mm. I believe. And then si David Kessler came up with a sixth stage. Sabi na usually after acceptance, parang, so what's after acceptance? Closure lang ba? So David Tesler did research, did studies, and defined the sixth step as finding meaning. Oh. It's the sixth stage of grief according to him. Hmm. Yes. Kasi parang what happens after something, mo, yeah, yeah, finding meaning. Yeah. So, I mean, Seeing all the stories that you saw on the ground, and you mentioned this in your book nga na parang sometimes you can't help but acknowledge na you're going through something hard but they're going through something harder but then valid pa rin naman yung pinagdadaanan mo. How has your field work through the many, many years informed your process of finding meaning with the difficult things that happen in your life? Well, kasi anong magagawa mo kung hindi pwede? Basta importante, ginawa mo ang lahat. And mm-hmm. if you've done everything... And wala pa din. Definitely may plano ang Diyos sa'yo sa ibang bagay, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So, again, you go back to gratefulness. Gratefulness na minahal ka ng asawa mo in spite of everything. Gratefulness na ang dami mo pang pwedeng gawin. Parang inisip ko, ito, niisip kong finding meaning ang ating topic. Sabi ko, di binigyan ako ni God ng daming oras to do other things. Alam nga na naman, magpapakasarap lang ako dahil wala akong inaalagahang bata. Definitely, yung free time ko, I should be do- doing something more. That's ex- actually how I feel. Binigyan ako ni God ng free time, I should be doing something more for others, sabi ko. And sabi nga nila, di ba, I, I vlogged about it. Ang sinabi na, too, so much love to give. And I have so much love to give. Exactly. Sabi ko, hindi ako mag implode Dapat palabas pa rin. And ang yeah. paniniwala ko, kapag nasasaktan tayo or when something traumatic happens, sabi ko, minsan bumabalik tayo sa self-preservation. Nangangalyo na tayo. Mas lalo kang nabubulok inside when you do that. Feeling ko dapat nagpo-flow pa rin. 
Hmm. Kahit na traumatic, kahit na painful, dapat nagmamahal ka pa rin. And that's how Grace, paano pa balik yung grasya sa iyo. Yeah. And that's how I feel eh, parang even if it's hard during the pandemic, for example, sabi ko hindi pwedeng mag-stop yung pagbibigayan and everybody was isolated. So in my little community, nagbibigay ako doon. Wala lang. Kasi mm-hmm. I just knew from experience that you cannot be disconnected from people. You have yeah. to reassure people that somebody's there for them. I was doing that for them, mm-hmm. thinking that somebody else might need it. Pero ang nakakagulat, bumabalik yung grasya yeah. all the time. Yeah. So feeling ko, oh, so that's how life is. Magpo-flow naman siya eh. Yeah. As long as you treat traumas as opportunities to grow and learn. Pero, ang trauma nandyan, hindi para tumigil ka magmahal o magtiwala. Na dun yun, just to make you wiser. Pero dapat yung kabutihan, hindi siya magsa-stop. Hmm. So hmm. I think that's why I'm, or if I seem optimistic, yeah. I think that it's because of that eh. Dahil yeah. hindi ko sinasara yung puso ko kahit na masakit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so beautiful and that still ties to the flowing like water metaphor you gave earlier that you're you're always like water. Pasok na pasok pa rin yun. And I remember actually that first time that you guested on on Paano ba to, um, when you were talking na alala ko din something beautiful you said there. And you can search for this on YouTube just type Paano ba to Bernadette Sembrano. <laughs> you mentioned this naman about your dad and it was actually him and your desire to honor him that you started singing. Yeah. And now you're like a legit singer guys. You can search for her on Spotify as in <laughs> Let's <laughs> Sembrano. Singer yeah. songwriter daw. Yes, yeah, singer songwriter. Sorry, I stand corrected. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll call yeah. it as my label na ako as I was writing the book. I call it Infinity Stones. As in like Thanos, oh, yeah, like Thanos. Infinity Stones. Exactly. It makes you stronger and gives you more power. It actually began with Molly. Molly is the first yung daughter namin na nagkaroon kami ng miscarriage. When we lost Molly, I told myself, how will I honor her? Paano ko siya mamahalin kahit wala na siya? In honoring her, I live the life that I hope for her. Kasi meron akong little book na hindi ko na mahanap sa bahay. Pero nasulat ko yun kasi I was already in my 40s. Yeah. Pangarap ko, sana live your passion, sana uh, serve in church, sana this. May maging mabuti siyang tao para may mga habilin ako in yeah. case na I die para alam mo kung bata pa siya. Anyway, it, it didn't happen. Pero sabi ko, how do I remember her? How do I honor her? But through my life. Yeah. So that's yeah. when I start, started joining the choir. Mm-mm. Kumanta ako, ako yung nag-serve. Ako yung, mm-hmm. <laughs> ako yung mumunta doon na parang life is short. Mm-mm. So napunta ako sa choir ngayon. And blessing din na I was prayerful, na meron akong relationship sa Diyos at saka sa meron akong support group sa choir. Papa naman passed away. So sabi ko, oh, how do I honor Papa? Sabi ko, sige pa, whenever I sing, I rem- I'll remember you. O di, yan na nga, Papa passed away, kanta pa rin ako na kanta sa choir. Mm-hmm. Kasi in my heart, sige, I'll remember Papa whenever I sing. Nakakatulong pala yon when you do something in honor of someone that you lost. Mm-hmm. So, kanta ako ng kanta and then I started hearing music. Mm-hmm. And then, naging songwriter ako. Tuloy pa din. At di sige. And then this happened. Natapos ko yung book. The third bubog is this one. Yung hindi nagtuloy yung, yung, yung implant ng embryo. And I finished the book. sa so sabi ko, it's for you actually. Sa, mm. sa kanya nakadedicate. I love you. I don't know what will happen. Yeah. I, nakapause lang naman ako. But feeling ko, dapat tuloy lang yung pagmamahal. Yun. So parang, I finished the book. So, parang it's always honoring someone. Yeah. Ayoko nang may honor. Baka kung ano pang magawa ko. <laughs> okay na to. Kota na to. May libro na tayo. <laughs> Masada nang, alam ko marami akong daliri, pero tatlo na yon na major. Um, yeah. but, but that's really how I see it. Pag mahal mo ang isang tao, dapat paliwanag, lumiliwanag ka dapat dahil mahal mo. Hindi dumidilim. That's so beautiful. Diba? Eh, mahal mo nga eh. And that person will always be part of you. Mm-hmm. Nobody can take that away from you. Yeah. Diba? Parang even if you forget them, they will always be part of you. Yeah. And how can you glorify them or even remember them by but with the life that you live? Yeah. So, yun yung 
disposition ko. Yeah. 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 And now immortalized through songs, through a book, and through whatever it is na oh gagawin God, pa ni Ate B ako. in the in the coming months, in oh the coming gosh, years. Oh my gosh, ako na nagbubog sa podcast. Magpa-podcast ako kahit wala pang bubog. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, hindi. Oh, the oh. past bubogs are enough to carry naman until oh, oh. until the future. Dala-dala yeah. mo yun. I, I, I just remembered also like si Andrew Garfield, di ba? Mm. Um, he said that parang grief is unexpressed love. It is. Exactly. Nasabi ko, no matter how painful it is, alam mo how I see it? If it's so painful, and it is physical pain that yes. you feel, no? Sabi ko, ay, ganito kalaki yung pagmamahal ko. Mm-hmm. That's why it hurts. Yeah. Ang laki nung pagmamahal mo, even the void. Can you imagine how big that love is to create such a void in your heart? Eh, pag pinalabas mo, ang dami mo pong mabibigay. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kung mm-hmm. maramdaman mong ay, ganito katindi yun. Sabi ko nga, you, the pain will never go away naman talaga. Mm-hmm. You just live with the pain. Yes. Di ba? Agree. I mean, that's a beautiful way to honor and to pay it forward to those going through a challenging time when bad news is good news. I'm glad I got to hear the stories and the point of view firsthand from you kasi, honestly, when I was reading it, parang I'm like, Bitin, I wanted like a deeper dive into the story, but I know that Shempre you wanted to keep the book um, concise at the same time busog, which it is. So I think this podcast episode is a perfect um, accompaniment. Yeah, kung <laughs> RRL, if you do finally get to to read Ate B's book, thank you so much thank for you. your time for joining me here again on um, Paano ba to? Yeah. I just want to ask like one final advice to everyone who is listening who might be going through something challenging. I know that you've talked about gratefulness a lot and I 100% agree with that. But yeah, to anyone listening to this right now, watching this right now, who's going through something tough, um, do you have words of wisdom you'd like to share with them? Well, nothing is easy. Wala naman talagang madali. Pero ang sabi ko nga, celebrate your bubog. Celebrate your your brokenness even. Hindi siya liability, hindi siya minus. In fact, if you embrace it and learn from it, process process it, feeling ko, like the song that I wrote, bubog ka, pero jamante ka. Mm. Yeah. So, I don't know what your brokenness is, pero ako naniniwala ako. Just give it time and you will shine. Pang beauty queen yung ending na yun na. And I, I will, that. I want to write another song. <laughs> <laughs> An I English love that. Version. Material. May material na. Thanks so much, Ate B. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I love this conversation. Salamat. Thank you.